to the next page. Some people from Alfard. And I believe these are more of the people who you would see in Aza. Well, I'm pretty sure that's Muntaka right there, but... All the people with, like, skulls around them and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure, from Aza. And then some Alfired Guardsmen. And I think these are people from Wazen, but they don't show you a picture of Wazen. I think that's the emblem. And I say it's from Wazen because they're all wearing, like, these um, clothes you'd wear in winter. And it's a land that's filled with snow and stuff like that and glaciers and a bunch of stuff like that. Which... I guess it could only be for Waz in here, these characters. The next one. I'm not sure who this is, but this person has a really, really cool design. It's like a tiki mask, children of the earth person. I'm assuming it's a person who's one of the children of the earth, but I could be wrong. And here is the priest, I believe. And the fortune teller, which you see you see her a few times throughout the game, which, I, if I remember correctly, she's actually... Three witches from Wazen are disguised as this... They all look at like this... They disguise themselves as fortune tellers, and they all look like this. And then you have Mimai, who is a Greythorn, which you see a lot of Greythorns throughout the game. Then you have the Whale God... I'm pretty sure it's the little god. Again, I'm not at the end of the game, so I wouldn't know. Then you have some random creatures of the game. that uh, These are the ones you see a lot in um, Sebel Rai, the, uh, the hamlet village in uh, Sodal Sud. And they're really nicely done. A lot of different things here. I believe that's called the POW. On to the next page. Here we have some ships that are in the game, which are really nicely designed. Some really nice stuff. Here's the Goldoba, which I... Now that I look at it in close-up, it kind of looks like it has a face. That's the front view, and that's like the side view. You can kind of see like lips and eyes and stuff, which I never really noticed before. And you have some other stuff here, more ships, and stuff from Mintaka, and just a bunch of stuff like that, and the White Dragon. And here you have some items that you see in the game, but some of the stuff I don't think ended up in the game, because I have no idea what this is supposed to be right here. This is the save flower right here, I'm pretty sure. Not sure who what this is supposed to be. Um, this thing is where you you can find Magnus in. Um, I'm guessing they're planning to use this as a thing where you can find Magnus, but that was never in the game. Here's a box that may be Shella's pendant, but I'm not too sure. Again, if I could read Japanese, this would be a lot more easier to explain. <laughs> and here we have some monsters that you fight in the game. Just, you know, generic creatures that you fight. Um, some that look like turtles, spiders, angel, demon things, birds. I believe that's the saber dragon. I might be wrong on that, too. And here's Fajro, but he's colored in three different ways, and I don't know why that is, but that's Fajro when he uses the power of Malpertio. Which is a very tough boss fight. <laughs> I've never beaten him yet. Like when I, I still had the game around, uh, I couldn't beat it. <laughs> Some more creatures here. These are really cool creatures. Um, you see them in Alfarad at one point. Try get, I'm going to try to get you guys close up on that. Oh, I think this is the Saber Dragon. Uh, I was wrong on that other one before. Then you have, uh, oh, I can't remember their names either. Um, I think it's called the Sikri. 
might be wrong. Some cancerites, which for some reason that one really freaks me out, but <laughs> and then you have the rainbow spider details on that one. Then you have Gelda Blame when he uses the power uh, when he uses the power of Malpertio and he becomes very this very disgusting monster. And you have some more creatures here. Then you have these hand monsters which really creeped me out, which were in uh Detourn, if I remember correctly, which was in Mira. And some more creatures here and here and here. And here you have the Thalassa. I'm not sure how to pronounce their names, but they're like these guardians. Which are really cool. They're, they're like these centaur type creatures. Have some, have some nice head detail there. If it'll focus. Some more creatures. I think that's the th Thunderfish. Maybe wrong on that one too. Magnus Giganticus, which is a semi a sub boss, which is really cool. Uh, some creatures from Anue Anue, I believe. The very creepy zombies that you see in the Library of Magic, which are very creepy. Again, we see the Saber Dragon. Some some guard robots. Phantasm, who is probably my favorite boss in the game. He's a he has a very cool des uh, design. And you have some books that attack you in the Library of Magic. Here we have the Ice Goddess, uh, an interesting boss. Um, Lord of the Springs, the boss that you fight in Sidal Sud. Iron Beetle 5, which you fight in Diadem. Iron Beetle 2, which again you fight in Diadem on the Cloud Passage. And you have the Tree Guardian, which you fight in Anui Anui uh, uh, on the Celestial Tree. And then you have some more things here. That may have been the Thunderfish there. But more creatures. More creatures. Lore of the Winds, which you fight in the, the Shrine of the Winds in Diadem, which is really cool. And this is what I think is Malpertio. I haven't seen him yet, but... He is described as the ancient god of death and uh, destruction. Basically, any negative connotation you could think of would go to this guy. <laughs> it's a very creepy face there. He has three designs, so I'm guessing he goes through three farms throughout the game, but I never got to that point. And it's probably one of the most important points in the game, because that's all they talk about is Malpertio. Alright, so we have a bunch of stuff here in Japanese, which I can't read. <laughs> I wish I could read it, but I really have no idea what it's about. It says World Guide on the front of this stuff, but I'm not too sure what it's about. More Japanese stuff, which the title is After Recording Scenario, which may have to do with the actors. I'm not too sure. Again, I wish I could read this. <laughs> Uh, some character profiles, which I can't read, but they have these little emoticons that they show throughout the game, which is really nice. Though it would have been nice to have seen them in color, I must admit. Emoticons for Shella. Emoticons for Gibari. Emoticons for Savina. Emoticons for Liud. Emoticons for uh, Mizuti. Emoticon for Lord Rodolfo. Emoticon for King. Uh, emoticons for King Ladakan. Emoticons for Queen, uh, Queen Corellia, though it says Corellia there, which is incorrect. Uh, emoticon for Duke Calbrin. Emoticons for Giacomo. Emoticons for Geldeblame. For Falon, emoticon for Amy, weird and strange emoticons for Melodia, which I know there's more, and I don't know why they didn't put the other ones. Pretty sure that's Malpercio again. The Great Camaro, Georg, even Mimai. 
Barnett, even though it says Barnum. Fadro, even though it's spelled incorrectly. Fee, even though, again, it's spelled incorrectly. Asder. Almard, again, spelled incorrectly. Larry Kush, again, not the right name there. And Crumley, which isn't spelt properly either. <laughs>